Hello, and welcome back to Unravel Theory Thoughts. So tonight, I have round two of Founders, which is the KBS Espresso Ale brewed with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. So, um, behind me, you can see my, my game set up, ready to go. Do some coffee traders. Um... So, uh, last time we did the cinnamon, vanilla, cacao, and this time we have the espresso KBS, so we'll see how it is. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well in this light. It's pretty dark. I mean, a lot like the other KBS, I would not think it looks very different. I had to adjust the lighting because of the, if I turn the line behind me, it blacks out the screen. That's no good. So, let's see how this one is. Um, lots of coffee smell. I think I catch the alcohol in there too. So, if I was guessing, I would say this one's probably going to feel a little bit like the other one. This one's 12%. I can't remember if the other one was 12% or 11 something, but pretty high ABV. So unless it's very well crafted, we're probably going to take some alcohol in here. So let's see. So good mouthfeel. Um, it's got nice, uh, I mean, you talk about a good winter sit by the fireside beer. It definitely has that to it. There is some coffee and there's some chocolate. Um, I would say the coffee is not a bad coffee flavor. Um, I wouldn't call it top of the line, but I mean, it's, it's a decent, it's a decent coffee flavor. Um, I probably rate this one. I like, here's, the, here's the challenge with rating. I really like the other one. Gave it a 3.5, but not so much that I'm going to go out of my way to buy it, which is usually right around the four mark is where I'm going out of my way to buy a beer. Um, <clears throat> I think I'd probably put this one in the, it's about the 3.5 range. I feel like the alcohol is not quite as potent on this one, even though I know ABV wise it is, but it doesn't seem to... I can taste the heat, but it doesn't, I don't feel it as much on this one as I did the uh, uh, cinnamon vanilla. So I might say this is like a 375. Not necessarily a beer I got on my way for, but uh, not bad. Still think I prefer the original KBS to this. Um, but this is a good, you know, if I was building a six pack of KBS's, I would maybe, I would throw this one in um, with maybe three or four originals. And I probably wouldn't throw the vanilla in, I'd pick a different one like the Mackinac. Um, I think I did a review on the Mackinac at one point, the Mackinac fudge, that one's not bad. Um, and honestly, I'd have to taste the Mackinac again to be to kind of like know if how it compares with this but if I'm remembering correctly I think I like the Mackinac better than this one so I feel like that one's one I've gotten a four pack of really enjoyed it um so the, yeah this is this is, a, this is a good beer I mean if you like stouts and you like dark heavy beers it's not a bad one to look for um especially if you can you know you happen to have a beer store that is in an area where maybe people don't drink as many stouts and you could get lucky and find this on a discount rack. I mean, that would be, this would be fantastic if you can get it on the cheap. I think this one was about five bucks. It's like five bucks a bottle, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and they tend to will run, you know, a four pack is probably going to run you about 20 bucks, maybe 18. And then uh, the singles are probably going to run you four to five dollars. So that's, that's probably the average price range. If you can get one at the uh, three to four dollar range, that's actually 
probably on the lower end, not doing too bad. But uh, yeah, uh, Founders KBS. Uh, again, I love Founders, so I have a, uh, I guess, an affinity for their beer. I feel like they, even though they experiment and I don't like all of their beers, I like a good number of the Founders beers. Um, they got the Breakfast Out, and uh, if you haven't had CBS, uh, the Canadian Breakfast Out is uh, extraordinarily good. Um, it's kind of like taking the Kentucky Breakfast Out to the next level. So uh, definitely recommend the Canadian Breakfast Out. It's just a little harder to find. If you can get it in your area, then that's uh, definitely grab one. It'll be well worth the uh, whatever it costs for the bottle, 15 20 bucks, maybe more. Um, but it'll be worth it. You'll like that beer. So yeah, Founders KBS Espresso. And I can't remember, I think I have the Panther, I'm butchering it. I don't know if it's called Panther or if it's called something else, but it's a Panther on the bottle. So I think that's the next one I'm going to do, and then I'll do the Velvet Founders last, probably on Friday. But yeah, uh, if you have comments, um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've had this beer, uh, if there's a beer you've had that you think, man, it would... <laughs> be really good to try that and see what I think of it. Um, against Founders, my caveat is this. If you suggest a beer, it's got to be in the same class, per se. Um, so, you know, if you say, well, try K CBS, that's so much better. I would agree the CBS is better, but the CBS is a higher quality brewed beer, I think, from Founders, than the KBS, and there are other breweries that I would argue the same. Uh, you're gonna have a higher quality brew, but not necessarily a flavored bourbon barrel aged stout. So um, maybe that's not apples to apples, um, but I'm trying to kind of get as close to class as possible in comparing these. Um, just saying, you know, don't suggest an IPA when we're tasting stouts. That's not gonna be you know, the right comparison to make. Uh, however, you know, I will accept any comments if you think some beer is extraordinary, even if you're not comparing it to this one. You're just saying, this is a great beer. I'd love to see you do a tasting of that. Throw it in there. Throw it in the comments, and I will uh, see if I can find it here in Texas and uh, give it a shot. Thank you. Have a great evening from Unraveled Beer Thoughts. Until next time.